With the new types of art we have in the 21st century, we mustn't forget the variety of art that emerged years before which contributed to the wealthy and exquisite appearance of art today. Hello, welcome to the century of Dadaism. The First Great World War It was known to be the most destructive war in history. However, in this destructive time was when the avant-garde movement Dada emerged. Dadaism, often known as the anti-art movement, evolved into disgust and outrage at the carnage and suffering of World War I, which lasted from 1914 to 1918. Primarily a literary and artistic movement, data emerged simultaneously in cities like Europe and America. Nineteen sixteen in Zurich's Cabaret Falter Club was when Hugo Ball and Emmy Hennings and other members including the German French sculptor Hans Arp first founded the Dada movement as reaction to the horrors and folly of the war. Marcel Duchamp and Francis Picabia were the most associated with the Dadaist ideas and anti-art in New York. Duchamp famously coined the term ready-made to describe his found object art, which transformed the conventions of visual art. Picabia, who was a French and also a highly versatile artist, worked using various of styles throughout his life. Picabia used Impressionism and Cubism, however, it was the New York Dada group that he became most notable. Influenced by his friend Duchamp and his enthusiasm for mechanization in America, Picabia began depicting the machine in his work. Picabia was never afraid to court unconventionality, and his works often had ironic meanings. The Zurich group published a data magazine that held numerous art exhibitions spreading their anti-war, anti-art ideas. Data movement is composed of artists who have forgotten modern capitalist society's logic, reason, and aestheticism. Instead, they wanted to show the public that their work expressed absurdity, irrationality, and anti-bourgeois protest. Dadaism was about making art that was unappealing to one's eyes, shows the bitterness that brought by the world war. There are many renowned artists of Dadaism, such as Marcel Duchamp, who have numerous infamous paintings like Fountain in 1917, the most iconic art pieces of the 20th century, and also LHOOQ in 1919, a famous example of ready-made sculpture. Another personality is Kurt Schwitters, a German artist who is known for his use of abstraction and collage and sculpture-like construction for noble ladies in 1919. One of the key personalities also of Dadaism is Raul Hausmann, who is a leader of Dada in Berlin. His famous artworks are The Art Critic in 1919-1920, which is considered low bro because it uses materials like newspapers and magazines seen in popular culture and the mechanical head in 1920. 
Anna Hook is also one of the members of Dadaism movement that is known for her piece called Cut with a Kitchen Knife in 1919 to 1920. It represents juxtaposition between Dadaism and mainstream culture during the time. Shirt Front and Fork in 1922 is a part of a series of painted wooden relief sculptures of Jean Arp, also known as Hans Arp. This art represents his stylistic shift between periods. Man Ray is a significant member of both Dadaism and Surrealism, producing his famous work called Rheograph in 1922, which is one of a series of Rhea's photograms. Lastly, another member artist of the Dadaism movement known as Max Ernst produced a piece called Ubu Imperator in 1923 which represents his stylistic shifting between Dadaism and surrealism depicting a spinning anthropomorphic top with incongruent figures. However, the bold new approaches of the Dadaist steered controversy within contemporary culture. Their swift break from tradition, their impassioned pursuit of a new mode of expression, and their willingness to bring their varied world of fine art back to a more level of egalitarian playing field through both humor and inquisitive investigation allowed data artists to attract both fans and foes of their work. Some saw Dada's expression as the next step forward in the avant-garde march. Others missed the significance and instead saw works, such as the champs' ready-mades, as not art, but simply their constituent objects. Dadaism gripped audiences into the 1920s, but the movement as a rule was destined to crumble. Some, like Man Ray, found their inclinations moving into the subconscious realm of surrealism. Others found the pressures of the modern European artists too weighty to bear. The rise to power of Adolf Hitler in the 1930s dealt a powerful blow to the modern art world. Though many of these initial members gathered, the ideals of Dadaism remained alive and well among contemporary artists. In many regards, one can see the threads of Dada revived. During the pop art era, Neo-Dadaism presented motifs and cultural commentaries interpreted with a hint of Dadaism intrigue. But it was in the latter half of the 20th century that the full impact of the Dadaist movement was realized. In addition to the two major international retrospectives dissecting the Dadaist oeuvre, one in 1967 in Paris and another in 2006 at various international venues, greater research was lavished on the comprehension and preservation of their legacy. Wow, what a long yet interesting and intriguing history Dadaism has. We might be in a season of peace, but the beauty and art of Dadaism will live forever.